let's create a small house in Rhino. Select a rectangle, type 0, 0, 20 feet, 30 feet. Select the rectangle, extrude 12 feet, select the walls, offset surface, click, one foot. We have our exterior walls. Let's create some interior walls. Control shift, drag, select, alt, drag, alt, drag. Select again, rotate, place where needed, trim if needed, control T, control T. We have our exterior and interior walls. Let's create the floor, select the rectangle, extrude, curve, solid, yes, down, one foot. We can select this, alt, drag to create the roof, snap in place, scale the roof, one foot on either side. Let's give this roof a pitch. Select the curve, raise up, raise up, raise up. Let's move the walls to the side of the roof. Looking good. We can raise this to the roof. Looking good. Let's create some doors and windows. Let's give this wall a little drip down. I'm going to select it, extrude one foot. Extrude down. Control shift, drag, snap. That will be our little gutter here. Right, let's move this front wall a little bit in. So we can go control shift, select, let's move this in a little bit. Okay, that's looking good for a nice entryway. I want this to be nice entry space here. So let's create a nice floor. Control shift, select the floor, extrude out. Let's give this some stairs. Control shift, extrude, extrude one more time, go down. Continue a couple times. These stairs are looking a little skinny, so let's make them a little bit longer. One foot. Okay, now we got some stairs going up to our spot here. Let's create some doors. I'm going to come to this front view. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. T to trim. Control shift T to trim. Now we have our opening. We can use this same rectangle to create the frame. Extrude one foot. The door frame. Let's move it into location. Select, drag, click. Now we have a nice little door frame. Let's offset the surface. Offset surface. Now we have a little thick frame. Let's move this out just a little bit so it pops out a little bit. Let's create a door, planar surface. Let's move that door into its position. Let's extrude that door two inches. Later on, we can give that a different material. Let's create two windows. Make one nice big rectangle. Turn off center, cut the rectangle, control shift T, control shift T. Now we have a nice picture frame window. Let's take that same rectangle and create a frame. One foot. Now we have a nice frame to use. Let's select that frame and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that's looking good. Let's give it a little bit of detail. Let's do border. And take that and we can make this into our glazing. Later on we can change the material. Let's just have one pane make it easier later on. Okay so that's our big picture frame window. Let's give this a little bit of an edge. Offset surface. Okay so that has a little bit of an edge and I think that's good for now. We can make some sight pretty easily by just coming here and we can draw curve around the property. So we can go like this. Let's create some sight. Draw it out, draw it out. Take this, extrude, come down for a sight. That will do. Come to this side, extrude out, extrude out, extrude. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. We're going to need Control shift to select the edge, some additional sight, 
this will be some white pavement here. It's probably enough. Okay. I'm going to do scale 1D, select, select, line it up with this, control shift. Okay. That will come out. We can just have that as our preliminary site. If we wanted this to go out of the render, we can kind of bring it out like so. Then we're going to apply some materials. I can just take this, let's just extrude it out. And uh, Photoshop will take care of the rest. Might as well do something fun with this screen. Let's create a little per perforation. We can come to left. Let's create a perforated panel. There we go. It just needs to be in front. So we can put it somewhere here. Okay. Then we can control shift C, control shift C. We can change a couple of these sizes. We can select each one and we can turn this into a block. We will make the block base point here. Okay, we have our series of curves that are not planar, so we need to make sure that these are on one plane. So I'll select these circles and type in project, project to C plane. Yes. Okay, those are snapped nice and good. Then I'm going to array. I'll press OK. I'll select these and I'm going to. I can come to this panel and I can do a rectangle array. And I'll do 10 in the y direction, 10 in the z direction. Okay. Oh, I did not do this in the right direction. And we can select this and come to Array, Rectangle, and we can do 10 in the X direction, 10 in the Y direction, 1 in the Z direction. I'll select that and I'll kind of move it all around like so. I want to make these a little smaller, so I'll hit Enter. I'll double click my block and maybe I'll make a couple more that are a little smaller. I can do alt drag to copy a couple more. All right, that's looking good. Okay, so I have my little ring screen here. I have a little cut full extra up top. Trimming it took too long. As you see, I would have to do every single one. I could do this in Grasshopper pretty easily, but instead I can also come and double click my block, select the curves, extrude them, press OK. Select the surface, move the surface in between. Then I'm going to use split, select the objects to split, S select splitting objects, press OK and wait. All right, so now I have my fun rain screen. I'll select those objects. And for now, I'll just delete these panels. I'll extrude this panel and I will place it in the frame. Now we have a little rain screen. This is a little thick, so I'm going to grab this and just move it in just a little bit. Six inches. Come up to material, and what I like to do is do a new material and do custom. I will come down to color, come to the render view to see what this will look like. So I have a kind of a grayish texture. I can always come here and maybe do 50% and then change the color if I wanted a dark gray. Give it some reflectivity too. And it can be conceptual too. Let's make this uh, wooden interiors. 